What's up guys, Goody here with the start of a new series. We're going to cover chapter 62 of Kaiju number 8, in which we see Reno Ichikawa, who I consider the deuteragonist of this story, push his body to the absolute limit while harnessing the power of Kaiju number 6 in battle against the Mole Type 67 Kaiju. He almost pushes himself past the limit, but he may be saved by an unexpected outside force. Let's talk about it. Okay, so since this is the first Kaiju number 8 video on this channel, I'll quickly go over the events leading up to chapter number 62. Reno Ichikawa, the deuteragonist of this story, has been making extreme strides in growth of his unleashed combat power, so much so that he was chosen to be the user of what they call a numbers weapon. He was given a suit that harnesses the power of Kaiju number 6, who is arguably the strongest Kaiju to ever exist, and he's currently testing that suit out in real combat under the supervision of Captain Ogata of the 4th Division of the Defense Force. Reno is fighting a Mole Type 67 Kaiju, and it has actually given him trouble. Reno's unleashed combat power has been steadily increasing even mid-battle, and this chapter begins by rehashing Reno's sentiment that he needs more power. See, Reno has a complex about him. He believes that if he was just stronger, his friend Iharu wouldn't have gotten hurt earlier in the fight. While Reno contemplates this theory, the Honju he's fighting changes forms and prepares to attack Reno once again. Reno gathers power in his legs and launches an attack on the kaiju. He unleashes a barrage at the monster, and he manages to destroy the kaiju's uni organ. While this is great, Reno's body is beginning to break down under the stress he's putting it through. His blood pressure rises and he has six muscle tears and some scientists believe that the numbers weapon is beginning to make him lose control. But Captain Ogata explains that this is all Reno. The numbers weapons apparently stimulate users brains to express their most passionate inner desires. And in Reno's case, the desire to protect his friends and get stronger is so powerful that he might destroy his own body chasing it. Ogata explains that the point of this test was to see how Reno would respond to the stress that the numbers weapon puts on his mind and desires. And he revealed that if Reno continued down the path to losing self-control in search of power, he would not allow him to continue to use the weapon. Reno breaks down on the battlefield, unable to control his own thoughts of longing for more power, despite the toll it was taking on his body. Reno freezes everything within a 50 meter radius of the kaiju, which shuts off the possibility of backup. Ogata commends his responsibility and refusal for backup. Turns out, Reno froze 35% of the kaiju's body, which nullifies the monster's regenerative abilities. However, Reno now has 16 muscle tears and 4 hairline bone fractures. His body is literally crumbling before our eyes. To make things worse, he lands a jump and fractures his tibia, which is a shin bone. Ogata says that this has gone on long enough and he's going to send backup in to relieve Reno, which effectively ends his chances of ever getting to use the numbers weapon for the defense of the country again. Reno is going insane, not understanding how he's so weak. This is, of course, because of the numbers weapon, but he's still in bad shape. Out of nowhere, Reno's friend and wannabe rival Iharu bursts on scene, yelling at Reno. He begs Captain Ogata to wait before giving up on Reno and he puts on a good showing of his own combat ability. Iharu only has 24% combat power as compared to Reno's rapidly growing 51%, but Captain Ogata is thoroughly impressed. Iharu explains to Ogata how great a guy Reno is. See, for the past few chapters, Iharu has been shown to be jealous of how fast and efficiently Reno has been growing, whereas Iharu himself had seemingly hit a plateau. He almost begins to idolize him, and this is shown here. Iharu explains to Ogata that Reno is an exceptionally hard worker and values his friends above all else. He swears that Reno will get the job done, and then he meets Reno on the battlefield to shake him out of his funk. This is an incredible gesture, and it shows me yet again that character development is one of the key aspects of Kaiju number 8. Well guys, what did you think of chapter 62? Let me know down below in the comments if you think Reno will conquer the number 6 weapon and continue to use it in the future. Remember to smash that like button and subscribe for more. Check out the video or playlist linked on screen, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great time!